गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम मयूर काड़े इन प्रीवियस प्रेजेंटेशन वी डिस्कस अ जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन टू फार्माकोलॉजी दट इज वॉट इज फार्माकोलॉजी वॉट इज फार्माको कैनेटिक एंड वॉट इज फार्माको डायनेमिक एक्सटेंडिंग टू दैट सेक्शन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज ड्रग रिसेप्टर इंटरेक्शन अ रिसेप्टर आर स्पेसिफिक मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन्स विच आर एबल टू रिकग्नाइज एंड बाइंड टू अ करस्पॉन्डिंग लिगान मॉलिक्यूल एंड बिकम एक्टिवेटेड and transduce signal to next signaling molecule whereas ligand is a small molecule that binds specifically to a larger one for example a hormone is a ligand for its specific protein receptor there are several factors that governing a drug action but more specifically affinity and intrinsic activity affinity is a major of the tightness that a drug bind to a receptor plus intrinsic activity is the major of the ability of drug to shows a pharmacological activity a signaling molecule a signaling molecule bind to a particular receptor present on the target cell after the activation of receptor it will activate intracellular molecule which are called as secondary messengers and these secondary messengers either activate a tertiary messengers or directly shows a biological effect a signaling molecule either extracellular molecule or intracellular molecule a intracellular molecule directly activates cyclic amp that is cyclic adenosine monophosphate cyclic guanosine monophosphate inositol 145 triphosphate diacyl glycol and calcium whereas extracellular molecules shows their effect through a membrane receptor or intracellular receptor the membrane receptors are or through a membrane receptor the effect shown by protein and peptides amino acids and their derivative fatty acid and their derivative whereas through a intracellular receptors a steroid hormone shows the pharmacological effect the binding of drug to a receptor is determined by the following forces it is hydrogen bond ionic bond van der waals forces and covalent bond among these four bonds ionic bond is more stronger next a binding of drug to a receptor this drug may be a agonist or antagonist as we discussed in the previous presentation a agonist may be full agonist that is a complete agonist or partial agonist a complete agonist shows a complete pharmacological activity as it is having affinity as well as intrinsic activity whereas partial agonist having affinity but not a complete intrinsic activity thus it shows a small effect there are four types of receptor that is ion channel receptor g protein coupled receptor enzyme link receptor and nuclear receptor the ligand gated ion channel receptors after a binding of ligand to a ion channel receptor a ion channel is either open or closed as shown in this figure when neurotransmitter binds to a ion channel receptor a ion channel gets open and the and it will leads to a influx of extracellular ion to a into a inside a cell second one is a g protein coupled receptor which is a 7 helical transmembrane receptor this receptor having a 3 subunit alpha beta and gamma subunit after binding of neurotransmitter the alpha subunit is separated from beta and gamma subunit and this separation of beta and gamma subunit will activate the receptor and this activated receptor will activates a secondary messenger system the secondary activation system includes pip2 ip3 and dg and ion channels and this secondary messenger will either further activate a tertiary messenger or directly shows the pharmacological effect the third type is enzymic receptor which also called as tyrosine kinase receptor whereas fourth type includes a nuclear receptor this nuclear receptors that is the intracellular receptors directly activate a process of transcription and translation that is the protein synthesis whereas this tyrosine kinase link enzyme link receptor leads to phosphorylation of tyrosine kinase and which leads to activation of cell signaling we will discuss this tyrosine kinase receptor that or enzyme link receptor and nuclear receptor in the next presentation also we will discuss a different factors that modify the drug drug action in next lecture thank you